thousands of years, imagine what would be left. Yeah. We would lose all of our advancement. It is more than two thirds the size of Prince Edward Island. Welcome, dear viewers, to an enthralling journey that takes us to the frozen expanse of Antarctica, a realm shrouded in mysteries and untold wonders. Today, we're delving into a revelation that challenges the very fabric of our historical understanding. Imagine a world where beneath the icy surface, clues to an ancient civilization lie dormant, a discovery that has captivated the curiosity not only of us, but also of the inquisitive mind of renowned podcaster Joe Rogan. In the vastness of Antarctica, a land of intrigue, Joe Rogan, much like us, was struck by the revelation of an ancient map from the 1500s. This map boldly displays the contours of Antarctica long before it officially entered the records of modern explorers in 1820. The question that echoes in our minds, mirroring Joe Rogan's own inquiry, is who were the enigmatic explorers who meticulously mapped this icy expanse centuries before its official discovery? Together, we'll navigate through the enigmatic imprints of cartographers from the 1500s unveiling a story that transcends time. Could this discovery point to a civilization lost to the annals of history? The icy landscapes of Antarctica hold the key, and we invite you to join us in this quest for answers. Stay tuned as we embark on an expedition into the heart of the unknown, where history converges with mystery in the frosty embrace of Antarctica. About Antarctica, the most southern continent, Antarctica, is a huge and incredibly beautiful place full of extremes. It stimulates thought and contemplation due to its virgin landscape, unusual geography, and interesting past. Antarctica, with its vast surface area of almost 14 million square kilometers, is nearly 8.24 times larger than Alaska, the biggest state in the U.S. It dwarfs even the most enormous territories with its mind-boggling immensity. Antarctica is unique among continents in that it is neither inhabited nor controlled by a single nation. As breathtaking as it is varied, Antarctica's landscape is truly remarkable. The world's greatest ice sheet is located on this ice-covered continent. The East Antarctic Ice Sheet is an enormous ice sheet that extends across approximately two-thirds of the Antarctic Peninsula and may be found at astonishing heights of up to 4,000 meters above sea level. Glaciers move like glaciers on a glacier, and ice shelves reach out into the Southern Ocean, creating an unearthly panorama of immense glacial wildness. Antarctica is famous for its bitterly cold weather. In 1983, the Soviet Union's Vostok Station recorded the world's coldest temperature, 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, or 89.2 degrees Celsius. Many different kinds of animals, such as penguins, seals, whales, and seagulls, make Antarctica their home despite the severe weather. These creatures have adapted to life in such harsh environments, and they get most of their nutrition from the nearby Southern Ocean. Antarctica is primarily used for scientific research and exploration. Numerous research stations and field camps are established by various countries to study topics such as climate change, geology, biology, and astronomy. In 1928, a pivotal moment in Antarctic history occurred when the first aircraft successfully touched down on the icy continent. The Australian polar explorer Sir Hubert Wilkins, accompanied by American aviator Carl Eielson, accomplished this momentous feat. Their aircraft, a small Lockheed Vega monoplane, soared above the frozen landscape before gracefully landing on the ice near Deception Island. This historic achievement opened up new possibilities for exploration and research in Antarctica, forever changing our understanding of this remote and forbidding land. In more recent geological times, Antarctica gradually transformed into the icy wilderness we know today. Around 34 million years ago, the continent started to cool and ice began to accumulate. Over time, the ice sheet expanded, spreading across the landmass and transforming it into the frozen desert we see today. The process of glaciation has shaped the topography of Antarctica, creating dramatic valleys, towering peaks, and vast ice shelves. It is a land that bears witness to the immense power of nature and the passage of time. While Antarctica's past holds many mysteries, it has also sparked speculation about the possibility of a pre-Adamite civilization that thrived in this icy realm. Theories Antarctica may have been home to technologically adept civilizations long before the arrival of Europeans, according to certain theories. It should be noted that these statements are still firmly rooted in speculation and pseudoscience due to the lack of scientific data supporting them. Because of its hostile environment, Antarctica is not a plausible candidate for long-term human settlement. 
Nevertheless, Antarctica continues to be a source of fascination and intrigue. Its pristine environment supports a delicate ecosystem where unique species such as penguins, seals, and seabirds have adapted to survive in the extreme cold. Scientists from around the world conduct research in Antarctica, studying climate change, geology, and the mysteries of the universe. But this fascinating living laboratory of nature has a lot to show you. Come with us as we explore some of the fascinating discoveries that have emerged in this desolate continent. Discovery of ALH 84001 The Discovery of Meteorite ALH 84001 in Antarctica in 1984 was one of the most intriguing discoveries in the area of astrobiology. ALH 84001 is a piece of a meteorite that fell to Earth in the Allen Hills area of Antarctica. It was originally launched into space following a strong impact event on Mars. Controversy and heated disagreement erupted in the scientific community and beyond in 1996, when a group of scientists, headed by NASA's David McKay, revealed their results about ALH 84001. The idea that the meteorite may have contained proof of Martian microbes from the distant past sparked the discussion. The scientists stated that ALH 84001 had tiny, worm-like structures and crystalline formations that looked like ancient bacteria. They proposed that these characteristics might be evidence of microbes that formerly flourished on Mars some billions of years ago. Now, a recent and astonishing discovery has emerged, posing a threat to our existing knowledge of the Antarctic continent. A small, mysterious map has been uncovered pointing us to a terrifying treasure chest of new insight. Notably, Joe Rogan, a well-known podcaster and commentator, has joined the conversation, offering more than just his two cents on the issue. He has revealed shocking truths about the least known continent on Earth. Keep watching to find out what just emerged in Antarctica that terrifies scientists and why Joe Rogan thinks it will impact the history of the human race. Groundbreaking Discovery a revolutionary finding in the 1970s uncovered this region's enormous, unrealized potential. Their discovery of a completely new ecosystem flourishing in Antarctic seas proves that life can persist in the most inhospitable of settings. Ever since then, scientists have uncovered around 400 subterranean lakes in Antarctica. These three-kilometer-deep lakes developed millions of years ago when Antarctica broke away from the supercontinent Gondwana land. The 1990s saw the discovery of Lake Vostok, one of the most important subglacial lakes. Located 2.5 kilometers below the Antarctic ice cap, it is the biggest subglacial lake in the world. Despite being covered by ice for 20 million years, the lake maintains a temperature of around minus 3 degrees Celsius. What makes these subglacial lakes even more remarkable is the presence of existing ecosystems of microorganisms. These organisms have not been exposed to light for millions of years, yet they continue to thrive. They rely on gases like methane and ammonium to create energy, sustaining their survival in this extreme environment. Pyramid-like structures. Traditional images of Egypt's famous pyramids of Giza immediately come to mind whenever the word pyramid is used. Yet in 2016, something interesting was seen in the Antarctic region via satellite images. From under the ice rose an unusual shape like a pyramid. Scientists think this might be proof of a man-made pyramid built hundreds of thousands of years ago, even though it's hard to get to. The discovery of these pyramids raises the possibility that Antarctica was inhabited by humans far earlier than previously thought. Some scientists even speculate that an entire civilization once thrived in this seemingly inhospitable land. However, due to the inaccessibility of the area, gathering substantial evidence to support these claims remains a challenge. Artifacts, Meteorite, Impact. Claims of a prehistoric civilization in Antarctica have been advanced in light of artifacts found there that date back thousands of years. In order to investigate the climate of Antarctica in the past, a group of geologists took core samples from the icy ocean floor in 2017. Their research seemed intriguing. Even though Antarctica's present environment isn't ideal for life, the scientists speculated that things weren't always so bleak. They postulated that Antarctica was the site of a tremendous meteorite strike that may have happened before the dinosaurs went extinct. The planet may have been inhospitable for months due to the impact's potential destruction, which may have brought about acid rain and months of darkness. 
Surprisingly, some primordial shellfish managed to survive this cataclysmic event, evolving into the ancestors of the dinosaurs that would dominate the Earth for the next 200 million years before their own extinction. The discovery of these ancient lakes, man-made pyramid-like formations, and remnants of an ancient culture in Antarctica challenges our understanding of the history of our planet. It raises questions about the resilience of life and its ability to adapt to extreme conditions. Area 51 of Antarctica. Antarctica, long assumed to be a desolate and abandoned wilderness, actually harbors mysteries that mystify researchers and ignite our curiosity. More shocks that reveal the secrets of our planet's past may be revealed when investigations and discoveries in this far area proceed. We have already shown that Antarctica is an exceedingly remote and inaccessible continent. Unless your goal is crystal clear, getting to the continent can be a real challenge. No amount of exploration could ever cover all of Antarctica, even if you were to get access. There is a limited amount of area available for activities and stunning scenery, but that is enough for tourists, hikers, and others. A few of regions on the continent, however, are off-limits to everyone except scientists and governments. Area 51 of Antarctica is a common name for these areas. No one knows for sure what happens in these off-limits locations. There have been reports of people attempting to sneak into these zones only to be swiftly apprehended and taken inside by guards. Strangely enough, no one has ever heard from or seen these individuals again. This has led to widespread speculation that secretive experiments or operations might be taking place there. The official explanation for the restricted areas is that governments aim to protect the biodiversity and potentially endangered species residing there. However, some find it hard to believe that this is the sole reason for their inaccessibility. There is an air of mystery surrounding these regions, and it's not surprising that people's curiosity is piqued by the secrecy. Antarctica Treaty be that as it may, there are restrictions on your activities in Antarctica even if you are determined to visit. According to the Antarctic Treaty System, several restrictions are imposed. It was in 1959 that 12 nations, the USSR, Argentina, Australia, Belgium, Chile, France, Japan, New Zealand, Norway, South Africa, UK, and US, signed a treaty. No nation can claim ownership of Antarctica according to the Antarctic Treaty. In addition, every country has committed to limiting its use to scientific study and small-scale tourism, while also respecting each other's sovereignty over the continent. This treaty's stated goal is to safeguard the planet's flora and fauna from the destructive effects of human activity, especially industrialization and war. The Antarctic Treaty ensures that all human activities in Antarctica are well-planned and effectively managed. This encompasses tourism, exploration, and scientific research, which must be conducted in accordance with the regulations and guidelines outlined in the treaty. While the treaty does not prohibit tourists or military personnel from being present in Antarctica, anyone hoping to set foot on the continent must obtain a permit from a signatory party of the treaty. Terrifying Discoveries Bird's Diary In Antarctica, what horrifying findings have been made? How does it change the way we see the past? Let me tell you one of the best kept secrets of Antarctic expedition before we get into the recent findings that have stunned scientists. Admiral Richard E. Byrd's long lost journal has this entry. Until Byrd's son found his long lost diary, which had somehow gotten into Tawani Wakawa Shusha's hands, his most fascinating discoveries stayed hidden for years. The Hollow Earth Research Society, formerly known as the International Society for a Complete Earth, was established as a result of this remarkable finding. The contents of Byrd's long-hidden diary, which contained insights that went against popular knowledge, were finally revealed in the 1970s. The diary was given to Dan Weiss, a famous UFO researcher and writer, so that its importance may be known by more people. With its release, Byrd's previously unknown findings were revealed to the public offering a fascinating window into a world of unknown potential. The contents of the journal aroused intense interest and controversy. The groundbreaking ideas presented therein encouraged additional research into the hollow Earth's secrets and stretched the limits of scientific discovery. A fascinating notebook detailing Byrd's remarkable adventures on an Arctic mission, the diary is named Flight Log Base Camp Arctic. Just a few hours into his northward adventure, he came upon an incredible, hitherto unseen mountain range. 
the majestic peaks served as a reminder of the polar region's undiscovered treasures. When Byrd ran into problems with the aircraft's magnetic and gyro compasses, his mission took a surprising turn. These crucial navigational aids started to whirl and shake erratically, much to his astonishment. Given the allusion to the Arctic base camp and their northerly heading, the accompanying researchers began to speculate that this strange behavior could have been produced by flying over the North Pole itself. Just two weeks after Byrd's Arctic journey, Chilean newspapers reported a new and extraordinary event involving him. It was claimed that Byrd had encountered a different kind of enemy, amazing flying objects. These mysterious crafts were capable of traveling long distances and swiftly moving between the poles. In the Weddell Sea, a dangerous battle ensued for approximately 20 minutes. The unidentified crafts emerged from the water and fiercely attacked Byrd's group, resulting in numerous injuries and deaths. In one entry of Byrd's diary, he mentioned an unexpected mission over Antarctica, where he was transported into the inner Earth through a vortex. There, he encountered humanoid beings known as Agarthans, and a highly respected leader referred to as the Master. The Master admonished Byrd for humanity's creation of the atomic bomb and warned about its destructive power. This encounter left Byrd amazed, and he firmly believed that humanity needed to change its ways to avoid a bleak future. The Missing Diary of Admiral Richard E. Byrd is a captivating chronicle that offers unparalleled insights into unexplored realms. Its contents have fascinated and intrigued researchers, sparking a renewed interest in the mysteries of the hollow earth. Myths, conspiracy theories. Why has Antarctica become the stuff of so many urban legends, claims of government meddling, and conspiracy theories? And just what is it about Joe Rogan that captivates him? Scientists and explorers have long been fascinated by Antarctica due to its status as one of the world's most desolate continents. Many have labored over the years to try to figure out what this faraway place's greatest mysteries are. Podcasting superstar Joe Rogan is one of many people who are curious about its secrets. Joe Rogan has been podcasting for 10 years, and in that time he has featured several explorers and scientists who have revealed new facts about Antarctica. Joe Rogan was completely taken aback by a surprising revelation regarding Antarctica in an enthralling episode of his podcast in 2022. Comedian and podcaster Sam Tripoli was his guest on that episode. While they were talking, Sam went into detail about what happened during Operation High Jump. Do you know what I'm talking about? Is Operation High Jump something you're familiar with? It was a military drill that happened in Antarctica around the middle of the 20th century. The mission allegedly included Nazis, extraterrestrials, and President Harry Truman. The actual name of the operation was the United States Navy Antarctic Developments Program but Operation High Jump is what really happened. During the years 1946-1947, Rear Admiral Richard E. Byrd oversaw the drill, arriving in the region of Queen Maud Land on Antarctica on February 1, 1947. The team set off on its eight-month journey. The United States Navy provided money for Rear Admiral Byrd's mission, which mainly aimed at scientific study. With the aircraft carrier Casablanca, 25 planes, seven helicopters, a submarine, an icebreaker, and 12 tankers. Totaling 4,800 men, they set out on their voyage. Officially, the expedition's main mission was to find coal and other resources, train military personnel in extreme cold conditions, and assess the feasibility of establishing military bases in Antarctica. However, one cannot help but wonder why such a massive undertaking was necessary. Why did they require 32 planes, 13 ships, and nearly 5,000 people, many of whom tragically lost their lives? President Truman and the American government had a keen interest in Antarctica, particularly regarding establishing American sovereignty over the region. It was later discovered that the true purpose of the mission was to retrieve missing Nazi leaders from their base in Antarctica. Extensive aerial photography was conducted, a polar station was established, and strange messages started to appear on the airwaves, such as, they were attacking us, and, we are suffering heavy losses. The identity of Rear Admiral Byrd's opponents remains unknown. Curiously, on March 3, 1947, all work was abruptly halted, and the expedition hastily returned to America. How did the Nazis end up in Antarctica? Upon reaching the continent in January 1939, 
a German force staked claim to certain territory. The area was given the name New Swabia and went on to inspire many folk tales. The rumors began to circulate that the location had double duty as both the German secret base and Adolf Hitler's last shelter. The idea that the Germans had built a huge metropolis in Antarctica's extensive network of ice caves was even floated around. Sam Tripoli claims that aliens had supposedly made a pact with the Nazis so that they might use their sophisticated technology in the war. It is still not understood why the extraterrestrial stayed in Antarctica following the war or why this technology was not used during the real battle. The organizers of Operation High Jump allegedly told President Truman that they had struck a deal with the extraterrestrial beings, according to Tripoli. The president supposedly gave his okay so the aliens could test their theories on humans. Apparently, our national parks and woodlands were the sites of these shocking trials. An intriguing and mysterious period in Antarctica's history was illuminated by the disclosures given by Sam Tripoli on Joe Rogan's show. The true extent of what occurred during Operation High Jump and the involvement of extraterrestrial entities remains a subject of speculation and intrigue. But that's not all, as this fascinating story extends to include the missing 411, a series of unsolved cases involving the disappearance of individuals in national parks across the USA. The missing 411 chronicles, these sudden vanishings on national lands, with many of the missing individuals sharing common characteristics. While some aspects of Sam's account may appear to be a grand conspiracy theory, it does raise questions about what truly occurs in Antarctica and the nature of the military exercises conducted there. One major reason why Antarctica is sparsely populated, unsurprisingly, is due to its extreme cold. Antarctica's chilling climate is widely known, but often underestimated, is just how cold it can be. Sweating is dangerous. Many intrepid souls have flocked to this remote and picturesque area in search of excavating, jogging, skiing, and trekking opportunities over the years. However, adventurers must follow a rigorous code of conduct and constantly modify their clothing to adapt to the severe weather if they want to survive in this environment. Colin O'Brady is a legendary adventurer and endurance athlete, and Joe Rogan interviewed him on an episode of his show. In 2018, Colin became famous after he crossed Antarctica on his own, without any help, using only human power. While speaking with the interviewer, Colin detailed his whole journey, including the steps he took to survive the harsh weather. The risks of perspiring in Antarctica were not exaggerated by Colin, it should be noted. One of the well-known sayings among those who have experienced the polar regions is, if you sweat, you die. And the official Antarctica tourism website echoes this sentiment, urging visitors to avoid perspiring during winter months. This is because sweating saturates your clothes with moisture, which can freeze and create a frozen layer on the outer surface of your outfit. As you start to warm up, these frozen layers can melt, leading to potentially harmful consequences. This situation can be particularly challenging for someone like Colin, who had to engage in a significant amount of physical exertion, including lifting and moving. While some individuals may enjoy avoiding cold climates, Surviving in an environment where sweating could endanger your life doesn't seem appealing. Thus, understanding and adhering to the precautions necessary to thrive in Antarctica's extreme conditions is of utmost importance for those venturing into this formidable land. If you ever have the intention of visiting Antarctica, it is crucial to control your perspiration. It is evident that embarking on a journey to Antarctica is not a simple task due to the extremely cold climate and the risk of frostbite. The continent is not inherently the most hospitable destination. Third Man Factor As for other fascinating Antarctic phenomena, there's the third man factor. Many explorers and daredevils who have gone to faraway regions like Antarctica have described this occurrence, yet the phrase may not be recognized to those who aren't. The third man factor is that overwhelming feeling of being surrounded by someone else, especially in times of extreme danger or hardship. Even though they are actually on their own, it's as if someone is accompanying or directing them. This is partly due to the fact that Antarctica experiences its own distinct light and dark cycles. Some tourists who have been to the continent have claimed to have felt this presence as well as seen shadows cast by nothingness and hallucinations while walking across the apparently endless plains. One notable encounter occurred during Sir Ernest Shackleton's expedition in the early 1900s. 
Shackleton and his two companions, in their quest to be the first to traverse the Antarctic continent by land, felt the presence of a fourth person walking with them during a particularly grueling trek. This phenomenon has been reported by many others who have felt lost or stranded while exploring Antarctica. Blood Falls Now, let's dive into the Blood Falls finding, which is one of the most fascinating and unsettling discoveries made in Antarctica recently. The five-story Blood Falls cascades down from a glacier into a lake in the McMurdo Dry Valleys. What gave it its fascinating moniker was the contrast between its red hue and the white snow and glaciers that it resembles. Geologist Thomas Griffith Taylor, who made multiple Antarctic excursions, was the first to find the Blood Falls in 1911. At first, Taylor thought the discolored water was caused by algae, but the real explanation behind the waterfall's unusual color was eventually uncovered by scientists. The glacier from which the waterfall emerges was named after Taylor in his honor. It was discovered that the Blood Falls were once a highly salty lake that had been cut off from the atmosphere by the formation of ice. This isolation led to an increase in the water's salt content, preventing it from freezing even in extreme weather conditions. Moreover, the water contains a high concentration of iron, which gives it its blood-red color. The lack of oxygen and sunlight in the water further intensifies its dark hue. Antarctica continues to captivate and mystify both scientists and adventurous souls who dare to explore its frozen landscapes. As we conclude our exploration into the mysteries of Antarctica and the enigmatic map that challenges the conventional narrative of history, we're left with more questions than answers. The notion of a lost civilization beneath the ice beckons us to contemplate the untold stories hidden in the icy expanse. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey. If you found this exploration intriguing, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more riveting insights.